Hello and welcome to another video looking at factorising um, quadratic expressions. Um, here we're going to be looking at some trickier examples where um, negatives start to become involved. So let's take a look. Um, we know that we've got this set up x squared plus 7x plus 10. We know that that must have come, must have been expanded from double brackets and we're looking to put it back into brackets. Um, so I'm just going to draw my double brackets there. Now, um, if we remember from the last video, what we said was that um, to get um, what we're looking to do is we're looking to um, find two numbers that multiply to make plus 10, but we'll sum to make this minus 7. So, um, what we are going to do here is take a look at the plus 10 to begin with. Look at the ways in which we can make plus 10. We can make plus 10 by multiplying plus 1 and plus 10. We can make plus 10 by multiplying plus 2 and plus 5. We can make plus 10 by multiplying minus 1 and minus 10 and by doing minus 2 multiplied by minus 5. Now what do these things sum to? Well we need to make it sum to minus 7 plus 1 plus 10 that sums to plus 11 plus 2 plus 5 that sums to plus 7 minus 1 minus 10 is minus 11 and minus 2 minus 5 is going to give us uh, minus 7 so the, the pair of numbers that we're going to choose to put into our brackets is going to be minus 2 and minus 5 um, so our final answer here would be x uh, minus 2 x minus 5 um, selecting this pair because minus 2 times minus 5 gives us plus 10 but minus 2 minus 5 when we sum them minus 2 minus 5 gives us minus 7. Let's take a look at the next one so we've got x squared plus 2x minus 15 so we're looking to find um, ways in which we can make minus 15 by multiplying but add to make plus 2 so let's start off we know negative 15 we know that um, we must have um, a positive number and a negative number because to get a negative product we have to times a positive by a negative so um, how could we make uh, minus 15 we could do that by doing plus 1 times by minus 15 we could also do it by um, multiplying uh, minus 1 times plus 15 or we could have minus 3 times uh, plus 5 or we could have uh, plus 3 times minus 5. So for this one, um, what now what do they sum to? We need them to sum to plus 2. Plus 1 minus 15 gives us minus 14. So it can't be that one. Minus 1 plus 15, uh, that gives us plus 14. Minus 3 plus 5, that gives me plus 2. Um, and plus 3 minus 5, that gives me minus 2. So which of these pairs sums to make plus 2? Um, this one here. So our answer here is going to be x minus 3 and x plus 5. And that's our final answer. Um, next one. So again, we know it's going to come from double brackets. Um, and let's write out all the ways that we can make minus 12. We could make minus 12 by doing um, minus 1 times by plus 12. We could do it by doing um, plus 1 times by minus 12. We could do it by multiplying um, two plus 2 times by minus 6. And we could also do minus 2 times by plus 6. And we can also do plus 3 times by minus 4 and minus 3 times plus 4. So let's um, see what do these things sum to make. Um, this one, minus 1 plus 12, that's going to sum to plus 11. This one sums to um, minus 11. This one sums to minus 4. This one sums to um, plus 4. This one sums to minus 1 this one here sums to plus 1. Now what we're 
looking for here is we've got minus x or we could think of this as being minus 1x so which one of these sums to make minus 1 well it's going to be plus 3 and minus 4 so our answer is x plus 3 x minus 4 um, okay next example um, let's rub this out so we give ourselves a bit more space um, we've got x squared minus 5x minus 14 so again I'm just going to write out the ways that I can make minus 14 I could do plus 1 um, times by um, minus 14 I could do um, minus 1 times by plus 14 I could do um, minus 2 times by plus 7 and I could do plus 2 times by minus 7 all of those answers there will give me minus 14 um, there aren't any other ways I could do it what do they sum to? we need a pair of numbers to sum to make minus 5 so here we've got plus 1 minus 14 gives us minus 13 this one gives us plus 13 minus 2 plus 7 uh, that gives us plus 5 and minus two, uh, sorry, plus two minus seven gives us minus five. So um, the pair of numbers we're looking for is plus two and minus seven. So this factorises to x plus two and x minus seven. Remember, we can always check our answers by expanding our double brackets, um, like we've done in previous videos. I'm not going to do it here, um, just to save on time. Um, next one, we've got x squared minus eight x plus fifteen. So um, again, let's write out all the ways in which I could make plus 15 um, I could do plus um, 1 times by plus 15 I could also do minus 1 times minus 15 I could also do um, plus 3 times by minus 5 uh, sorry by plus 5 uh, remember I'm trying to get a positive answer so it's either going to be two positive numbers or two negatives or I could do minus 3 times by minus 5 um, and they're the only ways that I can make plus 15 I need to, for it to sum to minus 8 so plus 1 plus 15 that sums to plus 16 so it's not that pair minus 1 minus 15 that gives me minus 16 so it's not going to be minus 1 and minus 15 plus 3 plus 5 gives me plus 8 um, it's not going to be plus 3 and plus 5 minus 3 minus 8 that gives me uh, sorry minus 3 minus 5 gives me minus 8 so it's going to be the pair on the bottom there so my final answer here is going to be x minus 3 oh sorry it's going to be um, x minus 3 and x minus 5 as my final answer so um, minus 3 times by minus 5 gives me plus 15 minus 3 minus 5 that gives me minus 8 and that's what I need there